All right. So we have another example here using the KF and KB equations. This is going to be uh, the molar uh, boiling point uh, elevation constant, and this is the molar freezing point depression constant. Remember, uh, boiling point as a colligative property is elevated. The more solute I add to a pure solvent, boiling point goes up, and freezing point is depressed. The more solute I add to a pure solvent, freezing point is depressed, it goes down, it freezes at a lower temperature. Okay? Well, here uh, we are given the molar freezing point depression constant uh, for a certain substance that's going to end up being our solvent. So I'm going to write it here in our givens. It's 4.94. Okay, uh, and I also wrote our other givens here. Uh, that includes the formula for molality, uh, the mass of our solute, the mass of our solvent, and the molar mass of urea, which is our solute here. Okay, so uh, they ask us to, to determine uh, the freezing point of pure X, they say. So let's figure out uh, what the freezing point depression is. We can find that very easily. Uh, we're going to use this one because we're dealing with freezing point. If this were boiling, we would use this equation. Okay? Uh, but we are going to use this one for now. And the freezing point depression is equal to the molar freezing point depression constant times the molality. The freezing point depression for this solution is going to be equal to 4.94. That is a constant, and it's given to us. And the molality we have to find. Molality is moles of solute. Uh, how many moles of solute do we have? Well, we have, we have 23 grams and the molar mass is 60.06 .06 grams per mole so 23 divided by 60.06 .06 is 0 0.38295 moles so the molality is 0 0.38295 moles divided by uh, the, the mass of the solvent in kilograms, which would be 0 0.600 kilograms. So that divided by 0 0.600 gives me a molality of 0 0.63825 molal. I didn't round it too much. It's an intermediate value, so I'm going to leave it like that. The units of molality cancel here, and I'm left with a freezing point depression of times 4.94, 3.15. I'm going to round it there, 3 degrees Celsius. That's the unit I'm left with. So that means for this solution, with this molality and that um, solvent, substance X, this is how much the freezing point is depressed. They tell me that the solution freezes at 13 point si negative 13.6 degrees Celsius. And I know that that is the depressed temperature because it's frozen and it's the solution, not the pure substance. It's got urea in it. Urea causes the freezing point to be depressed the more urea I add. And for this amount of urea, this concentration of urea, it froze at this temperature. So to figure out the freezing point of pure X, the non-depressed freezing point, I just take where it's frozen now, figure out what the depression is, and take that away. So if the solution froze at negative 
13.6 degrees Celsius. And if it's depressed by 3.153 degrees Celsius, then let's just uh, add that back to it. So plus 3.153, bring it more uh, closer to zero degrees Celsius, make it more positive. So negative 13.6 plus 3.153, it's negative 10.4. Uh, four seven degrees Celsius and the three significant digits that's going to be negative ten point four so I can round it there and leave it as that and this is my final answer negative ten point four degrees Celsius that is the freezing point of pure X when I add 23 grams of urea the solution will now freeze at negative 13.6.